Island Champion YouTube channel. It's your boy Garrett Bradford, and in today's video, a lot of y'all that are true day one supporters, y'all probably already have a good idea on what exactly today's video is gonna be about, but it's the beginning of November, so it's only right that I put you guys on game of the top sneakers releasing in November. So let's just get right into the video, baby. So real quick, before we actually keep going on in this video, I just like to say thank you guys so much for the constant love and support. It really means the world to me and it really allows me to keep grinding and pushing. And with that being said, I really want to kind of give back to you guys. And on the 101 Champion YouTube channel, it's the first ever giveaway and we're on the road to 350 subscribers. So with that being said, the shoe that I'm be giving away, as y'all can see, this is a Jordan 1 box. So let's just kind of look right at the shoe. So the shoe that I'm gonna be giving away to you guys is nothing other than the Pollen Ones. These are a size seven. And the dope thing about this shoe is A, you can either keep it for your personal stuff if you fit a size seven, or you can size swap to also get your other size. And the other dope thing is you could sell this shoe to either stock eggs, you know what I'm saying, a local, your friend, a, a sneaker plug or anything, and easily make $150 off this shoe. So at the end of the day, it's really one of those things that it's either a free shoe or free money. So I always recommend to definitely uh, do whatever you need to do to uh, be a participant in this giveaway. But I promise you guys, I got a lot more giveaways in store. And the way this uh, giveaway is going to be working you just got to follow three easy steps. So step number one, all you guys got to do is follow my Instagram and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Step two, you just got to like and comment under my YouTube video. And number three, I just need you guys to like and comment under my Instagram post with your name as well as tagging two friends. And the main thing that I need you guys to do is just after you're done doing each of these steps, just screenshot it and send it to my Instagram. And that's the way I'm kind of going to be tracking on who actually is doing the raffle and who's actually going to be in the raffle to win these Apollo ones. So just make sure you guys really do this. It's a free shoe at the end of the day. And it's just all about showing constant love and support. And I really guys want you guys to see that. I really appreciate you guys taking your time out, you know what I'm saying, showing love, let's just keep pushing, you know what I'm saying, sky's the limit, let's get to 350 subscribers, I got a lot more giveaways, and let's just keep pushing guys, and that's that. So now that we're finally really going to jump into the top sneakers releasing in November, the first thing I'd like to say is there's a lot of heat sneakers coming out this month, so really make sure you guys are writing these down, and really just make sure that you guys are prepared for whenever they come out so you guys can cop them for that retail price and the big thing about a lot of these releases are sometimes it's their releases change depending on uh nike adidas or different things like that so the app that i use is kicks on fire and uh, the sneakers app i told you guys that in uh one of the previous videos but those are the two uh apps that i get all my sneaker releases on so sometimes these re releases do get pushed back so just be aware of that, but at least if you're aware of the shoe, then you can really look up and know when exactly that shoe comes out. So the first shoe that really comes out this month released on November 4th, and they are the Shocking Pink Jordan 14. This is a woman's release, but I will say that for a Jordan 14, it's a really dope color, even though it's pink. It just is one of those shoes that you wear and it's really gonna pop. So I really recommend, especially the girls out there, to cop these 14 because it's one of those shoes that depending on the colorway it's one of the best sneakers that you can really have on feet so i definitely recommend that shoe to cop for sure and on november 5th you have where the wild things belong and this is a jordan 4 but it is a grade school so it is sad to say that really only kids and uh girls that have small feet are going to be able to cop these fours i wish they did do a full size on these because without a doubt i love this shoe just due to the mere fact that when i was a kid where the wild things uh belong was one of the big books that i always kind of read especially when i was little so it has a lot of meaning behind the shoe so i definitely recommend to get that shoe especially if you have a little son or nephew or anything like that, I definitely think they'll love the shoe and they'll be rocking in style. And uh, as well, on November 5th, you have the championship gray low dunks. And it's pretty much just a gray and navy dunk, so you really can't go wrong with them. So that is another pair of shoes that I will be going for this month. 
I'm not a big dunce guy, but with that colorway, you can't go wrong. It's gonna be one of my beaters, and I just kind of wear them all around, all the time, because they're gonna match with any and everything. As well, on November 5th, you have the Como de Garçon phone, and it comes in a black and a white colorway. I'm not gonna lie, phones were one of my favorite shoes growing up. It definitely has died down a lot, but I do feel like with um, the phone posit doing a collab with Como de Garcon, I do feel like a lot of people will be trying to cop these. So there will be a little bit of resale value in them, but overall, I just want to cop them just so I can have a phone posit in my collection because all my old ones I sold. So I will be going after both of those and those do release November 5th. And, uh, on November 10th, the shoe, they keep pushing this release back and it's one of those releases that I've talked about all the time, especially in my last previous video of uh, the October releases, but uh, it's the Gunman High Dunk. It's one of those shoes that without a doubt have a lot of story behind it as well as a lot of added on things. Like I said, you can remove the Nike check and it's overall just one of those shoes that really catches your eye and uh, it will be one of the top shoes that I go after this month. And on November 13th, you have the Jordan 12 Royalty, and it's pretty much um, a Taxi 2.0. I will say that I'm in love with the Taxi. It's always been one of my favorite Jordan. But the thing about this one is I'm not too big on the material, so I will still be going after them, and I'm hoping once I actually see them in hand, the material and the shoe actually looks a lot better than what it does in pictures but it will be without a doubt one of those jordans that i caught this month that i can really wear with any and everything so it will be a must cop for me on november 20th i'm sorry to say this but this is the best shoe coming out this month i know a lot of you guys will be kind of up in the air and maybe think a little bit differently but i've always loved jordan ones and it's one of those colorways that i don't have but on november 20th you have the jordan one bordeaux and without a doubt, you can never go wrong with the Bordeaux colorway. It's kind of like a maroon colorway. So it's kind of a dope shoe that I don't have a shoe that color in my collection. So it will be one of those shoes that I'm gonna be trying to cop for retail. But if I don't cop them um, for retail, I will be copping them off StockX or from uh, one of my sneaker plugs just to really get the shoe before it really goes up in price a lot. And I feel like it's one of those shoes that's nice to have in the collection because it's one of those Bordeaux colors and it has a great, great story behind it as well, just with Jordan and all different types of uh, colors of the Bordeaux. And as well, the last shoe releasing in November is November 26th, and it's the Jordan 11 Animal Instinct. This is a woman's shoe, and it's a Jordan 11, but without a doubt, I will say that it's one of those shoes that you're either gonna love or you're gonna hate, but I will say, um, I do feel like the material on these shoes will be very good because in the past, like the Animal Instinct 3, the material on those were absolutely amazing. Like whenever you felt it, it really felt like animal fur and things like that. So it is one of those shoes that I do feel like can add a lot of value to your collection or just be one of those dope shoes that you wear that a lot of people are really gonna tap into. That's the main thing. Just keep tapping in and just keep looking at your shoes, you know? So that's all the top releases releasing in November. So make sure you guys are prepared for that and put in all the raffles for all these shoes that you want so you guys are able to get them for retail. And that's that baby, and that's the top releases of November. So that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and caught a vibe, you know what I'm saying? There is a lot, a lot of heat coming out in uh, November. So really make sure you guys are prepared and writing these down and doing whatever you need to do to put in as many rifles as possible to hit for these shoes for retail, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, nobody wants to pay that crazy resale price. And like I said earlier in the video, we got our first ever giveaway on the YouTube channel. So really make sure you guys do those three simple steps, you know what I'm saying? I will be posting a picture on Instagram as well so you guys can always have that so you guys know exactly what you need to do to be able to be in the uh, giveaway. And right when we hit 350 subscribers, I'll be going on live and kind of giving you guys an up close look and kind of giving that shoe away. So that's that. And like I said, in the end of each and every video, I'll be leaving you guys with an inspirational quote. And the inspirational quote today is from Zig Ziglar. And it goes, expect the best, prepare for the worst, capitalize on what's to come. And the big thing, and the reason why I love this quote so much, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I always want each and every one of you guys to expect the best, 
prepare for the worst because at the end of the day, whichever route you take, you can always capitalize on it. You know what I'm saying? You can always make the best out of any situation that you're in. Just always push and put in 110% effort and I promise you, you will never go wrong. You know what I'm saying? Really capitalize on everything that you do in life and I promise you, things will fall into place sooner or later and just keep being you and keep being one-on-one. And that's kind of the main thing that I want you guys to do. Just keep inspiring you guys to be a better you because you guys are really inspiring me to be a better me. You know what I'm saying? And make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, share, and turn on those post notifications on. I got a lot more heat in store and a lot more giveaways for y'all. So make sure y'all just keep tapping in and showing constant love. I appreciate y'all and I'm out. Peace.